My name is Dinar Valeyev. I came from Russia. I a uh, community member of OpenSUSE. Today we are talk about um, community role in uh, whole, uh, whole um, uh, OpenSUSE rele release cycle. Um, in, during my session, Martin will join me to talk uh, to tell a bit more about spo upcoming spokesperson program. So, uh, what is community? <laughs> what is OpenSUSE? I think uh, OpenSUSE was created as a community program. It means uh, enthusiasts all over the world should be able a significant role in the process of uh, development and promoting OpenSUSE. As OpenSUSE is promoting, uh, sponsored by Novel, uh, Novel employees do their hard daily work to make distribution better, but um, to achieve the primary goal of the project, uh, we need to involve uh, more uh, volunteers in the process of development, uh, those who use, contribute to it, and care about it. So, uh, a bit more about community structure. We have users who uh, use and have a lot of fun. Uh, about 2,000 of them have signed it, uh, guiding principles. The principles where uh, the project goals are described. Uh, we use a word member for person who make uh, continuous available contribution to the project and of course sign it uh, guiding principles. Uh, we have about 260 approved members. Um, they got some perks and able to uh, elect an export. Uh, in order to get uh, member status, you should uh, make contribution in following areas uh, like packaging, bug reporting, translation, and so on. So what the board is, uh, the board uh, are people who approve members uh, while members vote for the board. Uh, the first board was uh, created, appointed by Novell in 2007. Uh, the primary mission was uh, to create, uh, to prepare election for the next board. Uh, uh, the board was created to lead the overall project. Uh, so uh, the board succeeded in, and in a, uh, um, the board ex uh, central contact point of OpenSUSE but uh, doesn't make any technical decisions. So, uh, so much about community structure. Uh, let's see in um, at the product lifecycle. Uh, basically, we can uh, divide a product lifecycle into three logical stages. These are idea stage, testing stage, and release stage. The community can make proposals on each of these stage, and each proposal or comment uh, is of uh, big importance for those who make the final decision. Uh, at the idea stage, uh, community and members are brainstorming for new ideas, uh, what um, what are important for the project, uh, what uh, new feature it will contain, and so on. So, uh, in the beginning of this year, uh, Tools and Services team was launched uh, a new feature tracking system, this tool named OpenFade. Uh, with OpenFade, we can um, create uh, feature requestment requests, um, discuss, um, discuss any feature with uh, interested people and developers. We can vote for features we like. Um, a feature creation is allowed only for members. 
uh, usual registered users can only comment a feature they like. Uh, with help uh, of voting system, we can gather uh, a most of uh, interested uh, feature and attract attention of developers to implement them. So, uh, another uh, tool for gathering ideas we have. In June uh, 2008, uh, the forums team was created uh, forums open source org, uh, a place where uh, open source community can have support and uh, discuss open source related topics. The forums was created by merging three largest English speaking forums. This is uh, uh, Novel forums, uh, SUSE Linux there, support there, and SUSE forums net. Uh, the forum still, uh, team promised they won't stop working to implement new features of to uh, extend community importance. Uh, the most uh, needed feature there is uh, uh, language sub uh, subsections for forums, I think, uh, because we need to uh, consolidate uh, local, uh, local community groups to a central point to gather uh, feedback from uh, non-English speaking communities. So, uh, about testing stage, uh, the most of um, the, uh, the most of things done on this stage are done with help of OpenSUSE build service. At this stage, community uh, ca uh, can Test available pa packages, uh, mm, fill in bug reports, and so on. Um, at build service, we have uh, community extension repositories for KDE, GNOME, um, and other various projects. Uh, the main problem is uh, now OpenSUSE build service contain about 10,000 uh, projects with about 60,000 projects. The current uh, mo uh, the current model um, working with third-party packages is complicated to use. So uh, um, we plan to make a central uh, repository official central repository for community. It names Contrib, uh, where we have uh, only one package, only one version, because in many uh, projects we have many, many duplicated packages, which uh, a bit confuses uh, users which packet to choose. Uh, uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, mm -hmm. so uh, within country repository, we introduce uh, two new roles. It is a uh, maintainer uh, and reviewer. Uh, maintainer will create um, initial package, track changes in upstream while um, a re a reviewer team uh, track uh, package for security issues, uh, uh, stability of this, um, all of this I think uh, will done with uh, help of SUSE security team. So uh, with starting 11.2, uh, KDE 3.5 uh, will be created complete, uh, completely by community and supported by community. Uh, tomorrow, will uh, Stefansson will talk about it. Uh, at this stage, uh, is important uh, uh, translations. 
we've made. Um, uh, we have uh, translation for LCN, yes, translation, weekend translations. Um, we plan to introduce uh, language, speech, uh, language specific um, a news portal where um, users from local communities can um, find out what happened in um, open source world. So uh, what about the release stage? Release stage is uh, the stage where we had the a final uh, stage. At this stage, we prepare uh, mirrors. Uh, and, uh, most of mirrors are created by community. For example, um, in Russia, we have now, uh, with help of community, two largest mirrors. We uh, watch surf uh, Ukraine uh, and some part of uh, other Asian countries. Uh, at this stage, we have a marketing team uh, who uh, have uh, hard work by uh, preparing uh, release parties, uh, some release uh, news entries. Um, so, um, To help with this, we um, we make introduce a spokesperson with which uh, can help to gather feedback from our local communities and uh, put this feedback to global communities to um, to find a new um, ideas and new talent as in non English speaking countries. So. Uh, Martin, are you talking a bit more about community? Uh, spokesperson? Yeah. Hello, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. More or less working. Maybe should I use the other microphone or is it okay? Okay. Can you change the microphone? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, my slides. So, okay, I'm on. Um, so, so we had the overview of the community from Dina, and uh, so a lot of stuff is going on. Um, for me, the most important thing, uh, which is starting right now, is the spokesperson program. Um, so, what do we want? Uh, we want uh, a good name for it, so at the moment we uh, have uh, voting. Spokesperson is really just a placeholder, so that's why we don't have it in the voting. Spokesperson is, for me, it's, it's a total useless word. It really describes what he has to do, but it's only one part of the job description. So, if you are an OpenSUSE member, go to the um, users page and vote. Um, the voting time is pretty short. Uh, I want to start the program uh, more or less next week. Um, so we will release the name at the project meeting at half past six next week on Wednesday. I'm coming to that, yeah. Maybe. Um, so why we need somebody as, as a spokesperson? Um, Mainly local communities are totally different. So Dina also said that, um, for example, I have no idea what's going on in Russia. So we need somebody who is in the country and talk with the people, uh, try to combine the efforts of all the local people so it's much easier to do that if you have somebody who is working directly from this country. And most of the SUSE and Novell stuff is uh, coming from Germany or America. So uh, we have really no clue, especially what's going on in uh, countries like Indonesia, for example. Um, another one uh, what we try to achieve is that helpers uh, should be better recognized or rewarded. We have 
we have already some people qualified as spokesperson or ambassadors, but nobody knows that. I know that because I work with them on a daily basis to get them DVDs, to get them T-shirts, stickers and all this stuff, but uh, they're not really uh, recognized on the OpenSUSE community. And of course we want to create something like an OpenSUSE network, so um, we have a mailing list for example, we will have a mailing list for them. And for me, maybe the most important thing is that we have better redistribution. Um, it's quite hard to get OpenSUSE in smaller countries, and even in technology uh, countries like India, if you don't live in a big city, it's quite hard to get OpenSUSE, because you don't have internet, or you have a very, very uh, low bandwidth there, so we need people who redistribute uh, OpenSUSE with DVDs, and actually the people are making a lot of events in, in South America, India and all the countries, so it's not a problem to, to uh, distribute the DVDs, it's just a problem to have one central point where you can say, okay, here you have a thousand DVDs, um, just redistribute them. So, what should a spokesperson should do? Uh, be a local contact for OpenSUSE, it's as simple as it is. Promote OpenSUSE, of course, and promote is, is not really um, the different things you can promote. You can, of course, make presentations because we don't have the money to uh, go to India for a presentation. And uh, so if you have a local event, make your own presentations, make your own booth if you can. So a smaller event like uh, you know, or an event on Fostum is not a problem because we are here with 30 people, so it's not a problem to set up a booth, but we are probably not going every day to Australia or South America. Uh, also very important for us is because not uh, all of the events are part uh, of the big uh, Linux uh, event tracker, so if you have a small local event, it might be interesting for people, but it's not uh, on the big schedule. So please take care of the events and uh, let us know that there is something. Promote your work, of course. If you are a spokesperson, everybody wants to know what you are doing. And uh, bundle the small orders of promo DVDs. So, so who can do it? Uh, it's a community job. Everybody can do it, uh, even, but we have also some people from Novell. For example, from Sweden we have a guy. I guess also from Indonesia, who's who are doing the job, but basically it's a community job. We want the community doing um, um, the spokesperson job. Um, you have to sign the guiding principles, which is for me pretty important, and I'm not sure about this, uh, be an OpenSUSE member. Actually, there was a discussion on the mailing list about that, should a spokesperson be an OpenSUSE member or not, and uh, was not really a conclusion about that. So at the moment, I'm... <laughs> I'm not sure about that, and if somebody says um, I want to be a spokesperson, I probably say, yeah, go ahead. Um, of course, you need some communication skills. Uh, you need to talk with the people. Um, you can see it quite good here on a Fostem, for example. Uh, you have to introduce OpenSUSE, you have to show some stuff, show KDE, GNOME, whatever. So this is quite important. And uh, of course, you need time, because in the end, it's still work. And um, it might be not that much work if you uh, have many spokespersons for a country, maybe for Germany we need for maybe four. Uh, it might be a lot of work if you are the only one in your country. So, what will you get back? Um, of course, fame. Um, many people I know here from Fostem, uh, you know them because they are doing some stuff for OpenSUSE. So doing stuff is quite important, and that's also why people are doing For example, Andrew Waffa is here the second time, I guess, and everybody knows him, so you will get fame back. You will get a special spokesperson pack package. Um, for example, you will get T-shirts, you get um, posters, um, DVDs, of course. Um, but uh, to be honest, at the moment, we don't have it. So we are thinking about it, what we can do. Um, we thought that we do uh, send out the package every time there's a new release. Uh, general spiffs uh, like stickers, like tuxes, like all the stuff you can uh, give away. We are working on to get some budget for traveling. Um, even if you're living in a smaller country, uh, it's of course better when we pay for the travel, um, so you don't have to pay for your own and you get a direct uh, Novell SUSE contact. So if you have some problems, you need new stuff, uh, you can contact us directly and don't have to go to some mailing list and wait for the answer. Um, 
But I have to say, you know the economy right now, so I'm not sure what we can do, really, what we really can do. Uh, what we can do for sure, we have DVDs, and uh, I will start on Wednesday with that, um, uh, calling for proposals how to get rid of the DVDs. If you have a nice event, uh, go to the marketing list and you will see uh, what we can do. So, where are we now? The name will announce on Wednesday. I will start the same day, so you can apply on the marketing mailing list. So, if you are interested uh, in a spokesperson job, um, just send an email, we will discuss it. Uh, this is also one thing I'm not sure about, uh, how to separate it. So, probably in Germany we have a very, very strong community. It might make not that much sense that we have 20 spokesperson people in Germany, because the country is not that big. Um, so, we will figure something out, how to limit it, how many people we need, and uh, we will see it next week. And yes, we have DVDs, so if you need DVDs, just send us an email on the marketing list. Um, that's all for the spokesperson program, I'm not sure if I really answered your question. Um, you can uh, compare it um, with the uh, Fedora Ambassador program and with the uh, Ubuntu Loco program, local communities. So we need really more people coming outside from the community. It's nice for the company to send people to events, but uh, A, it's quite expensive, B, we cannot go everywhere, and uh, probably C, it makes more sense uh, to have local people. For example, if there's an event in Russia, it makes probably not that much sense that we are going there with 10 people when we have a local community like Dina there. That's all on the spokesperson program. Any questions about that? Do you have anything to say? Yeah. About uh, some conclusion. Um, um. So, uh, in summary, uh, you see at the slide, the community role is a, a big role in a whole release cycle. Community uh, will, uh, will have take their job at idea stage, taste stage, and release stage. So community is uh, very important. <laughs> Questions? So. Um, we, how we involve more people? Uh, the problem, the problem is, um, we need um, more tools by uh, gathering uh, feedbacks from local communities. So, thank you for listening. So we have now a short break. Is it right, Jürgen? The next talk starts in 50 minutes, right? So we have 50 minutes for the, uh, until the next talk, and then we start with uh, build service tracks. Uh, we have uh, the rest of the day. Most of the stuff is really developer-related, uh, like build service, like Contrib, and like the upboard system. So if you're interested in that, come back in 50 minutes.